Hi everybody and welcome to the very first episode of Decode His Snapchats. I'm your host Kimberly and as many of you already know, I'm a real life relationship therapist and expert. I'm actually totally serious, this is my real couch. Now today I've divided the guys on Snapchat into six different categories. And based on which group your crush falls into, we can actually learn a lot about him, what's going on in his mind, and maybe even how he feels about you. Ladies, are you ready? The first is the party boy. Now you know this guy because based on his Snapchat, his life seems so cool. He always seems to be the life of the parties, visiting the trendiest hotspots, and always on the go. From the outside, his life seems so perfect, and you may even be wishing that you were his arm candy in all of his amazing posts and videos. But be careful, party boys can actually be really insecure. It's like they're constantly saying, look at me, I'm so awesome. Can't you see I'm so cool from all these amazing pictures? If his posts show no evidence of his downtime, family life, or any resemblance of normalcy, like going to school or perking, then there's probably some he's trying to hide. Either that or he's actually partying 24-7. In which case, ugh. Number two is the artist. Now you know the artist because he chooses to draw on every photo. Doesn't matter if it's a photo of his dog, his little sister, or even himself. The cool thing about the artist is that he prioritizes being original, personalizing everything to give it his own unique touch. Now if his drawings are of a funny nature, like bullhorns or mustaches, he's probably totally into having fun. But if his drawings or words are always covering up his own face, you might want to ask what he's trying to hide. Next is the narcissist. Now you know when a guy is a narcissist snapchatter when more than 50% of his photos or videos are selfies. Now this guy is probably very pretty, making you not mind the selfies so much. But it's important to understand the motivation behind so much self-love. For most guys, it's usually the exact opposite. What appears like too much self-love and conceit from the outside is usually a lack of self-love from within. Number four is the storyteller. Now there's definitely a difference between people who post everything on their stories to those who deal mostly in personal messages. A guy who's compulsive about updating his story and making it look amazing is probably trying to impress someone from the outside. Now public figures also fall into this category because they have a lot of followers, but if he's just a normal guy, he either wants to be a public figure or he might be looking for some attention. Now five is my favorite, the clown. Now the clown is awesome because he uses Snapchat primarily to make other people laugh. He's not afraid to make stupid, funny, or even disgusting faces, even if they're at his own expense. If your crush is an extrovert and he sends you a personal Snapchat with a goofy face, it might just mean that he's into you. He's doing what he knows best to impress you. But if your crush is a shy guy and sends you a goofy Snapchat, it's probably because you're one of the only people he feels comfortable enough around to look dumb in front of, which means you might be friend zone. Now ladies, last but not least, we have the wild card. The wild card is an interesting one because he uses Snapchat as his alter ego. You see him do things on Snapchat that you'd never see him do in real life. Whether it's belt out the tunes, mud wrestling, or even snuggling up with kittens on a Sunday afternoon. This guy is totally random. The wild card is cool because there's definitely more to him than what meets the eye. But it's important that if you want to date him, he's upfront from the get-go about his many interests and hobbies. Do you need help decoding your crush's Snapchat? I think so. Ask me at hashtag AskKimberly on Instagram or Twitter. And definitely come follow me over there to see my crazy life. You'll get to meet my handsome hubby, my little daughter, and come behind the scenes on all my TV appearances and media events. And if you want to learn how to decode his text, definitely check out my recent video, Decode His Text. You're going to get so much help over there. Okay guys, give this video a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos on relationships. Bye everybody!